Soldier of Planet Key, do not be afraid. I am Hasai, the builder of this temple. The clay tablet you hold, my scribe Indimsar wrote as a record of our journey to this planet long ago. It is an epic tale of the Urabani Odyssey to your planet Key, and how you and your kind came to me. Thus be at ease, and I, Prince Hostai of the Urabani, will reveal to you the true history of your species. 450,000 years ago, Olalu was king of the Urabani. We are a highly advanced race of galactic colonizers. Our home planet is an intruder trapped in this galaxy by an ancient event in the heavens. Our home world was confronted with a new reality, impending doom wrought by its ensnared orbital approach towards an angry central sun. This season of terror repeats every Urabani complete orbital or char. The fiery solar beast destructive rays strip our planet's atmosphere each perihelion passage and must be replenished indefinitely. Urabani scientists identified a known solution on distant key, the seventh planet. For Key possesses rich amounts of the precious and immutable metal gold. In its atomic form, it is dispersed into our atmosphere, forming an ionic radiation barrier. It was discovered through inhalation of these particles. The DNA is renewed and is the source of immortality of the gods. This unknown fact is the true reason for gold's value, which has been hidden from those enslaved to mine the gold. When processed into an orbitally rearranged monatomic element, the white powder is consumed by royalty as a source of immortality. We turn the substance starfire gold. An Urabani reconnaissance team led by me was dispatched to Planet Key during that time of great turmoil. Fifty volunteer Uraganji workers came also to help mine the gold. There was great angst and a sense of urgency to protect Urabani and its inhabitants from a failing atmosphere. Mission success was tantamount, and a mandatory and timely response for preserving life was in order. My half-brother Yaki followed me to this planet at a later time and was elevated to the Lord of the Command. He has been known by many names. Ones you may know are Zeus and Yahweh. After toiling in the Abzu mines for an entire shard, the Uraganji miners witnessed our home planet, the winged disc red dragon Urabani in the sky. Its close proximity began disrupting Key's orbit and causing great tidal waves, quakes, and falling debris from the constellation tail rained down on the surface of Key. Urabani's imminent arrival at Perihelion compounded our mission urgency for gold mining production, and the pressures coupled with Yaki's heavy hand led to a minor rebellion. Tools were burned and war declared. Deep in the Absu, Yaki's eager fortress headquarters was surrounded in the night by the enraged Uraganji miners bearing arms. Their task was too great, and their slave conditions dire in the hellish Absu mines. Morale decayed, traumatized underground by key seismic vibrations. The miners feared collapsing rocks would be capstones for their deep and unknown graves, and thus the rebellion. The Urabani High Council gathered for an emergency meeting at the Eker Fortress, and summarily ordered myself and my half-sister Bolota to fashion a replacement worker for the rebels to end the siege. The promise bought the council time as the miners reluctantly resumed their dreary lot. After many failed genetic experiments, a zygote was conceived using Urabani DNA and the egg of a primitive bipedal hominid native to plant key. I, Hossai, provided the reproductive sperm and the medical officer below me carried the in vitro fertilized ovum in her womb until giving birth after the ninth month. The new hybrid workers were eventually upgraded to permit reproduction trained to do the Uraganji miners tasks, and then replace them mining the Abzu gold. This relationship is ongoing in the shadows. It is a critical piece to mankind's puzzled and forgotten story. An epic tale hidden from humanity until now. I, Hafsa, have returned to Planet Key to ensure the ascension of my creation 
as free will beings animated by the eternal sun soul boss spirit which I imparted to you sourced from the creator of all. The truth shall set you free. Odyssey and Key.